Contrary to popular belief, don't put your pinky up when drinking afternoon tea. Downton Abbey didn't lie to you. Afternoon tea is a big deal in Britain. Even if you won't be having a cup with the queen anytime soon, proper tea technique still matters. Don't call it high tea. A lot of people think afternoon tea and high tea are the same thing, and sometimes use them interchangeably. Big mistake. Huge. High tea is actually not the fancy kind of tea. It includes a heavier meal, like meat, fish, and egg dishes, and it's offered in the early evening. It got its name from being served at a high table, like a dining table. Afternoon tea is the one most people associate with luxury. It's a social affair intended to help fill the gap between lunch and dinner. Scones are tea's best friend. They're usually served with cream, butter, and preserves, though there's a debate over the best way to eat it and pronounce it. Is it scones or is it scones? The Devon tradition is to put the cream first with jam spread on top, while the Cornish tradition is jam first then topped off with cream. Don't dunk your biscuits into your tea either. If you want to, you can do it in the privacy of your own home. Milking matters. Milk is the standard added, but the order of operations is highly contested. Some people believe putting the tea in first is the right way, because then the guests are allowed to flavor their own tea with milk to taste. But more traditionally, putting the cold milk in first protects the delicate china from the hot tea, which might crack or damage the cups. Choose your own adventure. Just hope you don't end up cracking the cup at your first afternoon tea. Make sure you stir it right. The tea should be stirred back and forth, not in circular motion. Don't clink the spoon against the sides of the cups either. Stir it delicately so you won't crack the fine china. That would be a major party foul. Once you finish stirring, don't leave it in your cup. Place the spoon on the saucer next to the cup. Loose leaf tea is the way to go. Leave the back teas for another time. To have the finest afternoon tea experience, it's better to use loose tea leaves. And don't serve white tea, green tea, and infusions with milk. Only black tea. There's an art to your sip. Bring the teacup to your mouth. Never lean over to reach the cup. And no, you aren't supposed to raise your pinky finger while you drink. Don't worry, you won't look less fancy without it in the air. No slurping or blowing on the tea. And give your cup a rest between sips and place it gently back on the saucer. Afternoon tea has been a part of British tradition since the 18th century. That means you need to catch up on hundreds of years of tea tradition. So start practicing. You never know when you're going to run into Queen Elizabeth at afternoon tea. 